Alright, got a little night sky test here with a brand new Sony a7 III camera. Have it coupled to the back of a Gen 3 on film image intensifier, green phosphor P43, the Pi L3. Uh, the front objective is a f1.5, 105mm aka 4x lens, night vision lens with an LP695 filter on the front to squelch light pollution. The camera settings in the a7 III are 1 60th of a second shutter, ISO is 1250, standard picture profile, and we have a full frame relay lens, if I didn't say that already. We're staring directly at two galaxies in the constellation Ursa Major, which are going to be pretty small at 4x, but here they are nonetheless. The upper left one in the center is, uh, oh, Christ, I can't remember now. It's uh, M80. 81, and then the one to the lower right of it would be M82 and edge on. So, two galaxies in Ursa Major, just a little ways to the north of the bowl of the Big Dipper, which is... that's part of the bowl, two stars there. Now, if I swing around, I'm gonna go for another really faint galaxy from the... we're shooting this from the city, by the way. Go over to the handle. And hurry up, because the clouds are coming in. I just noticed that. I'm going to go for the double star. Mizar Elcor, right there. That's in the handle. And then we go to the end of the handle there. And move up a little bit. And supposedly, let's verify this, in the center of the screen. Oops. We should have, yeah, okay, I get it in the center. The Whirlpool Galaxy, which is barely visible. Two teeny tiny fuzzy dots. One's the main galaxy, the other's a satellite that's being sucked in by the bigger one. The, the smaller one's about the 7 o'clock position relative to the uh, slightly larger one. Called the R&D, both quite small, but that's M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy. Again, under some major, super teeny tiny, I know, at 4x. But this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, now, I got those clouds in the north, so let's swing over to uh, the star Arcturus in the constellation Boates, which is right there. Nice and bright red star, and I've uh, got a little bit of halo around it, because it's pretty bright. Now we're going to swing over and see if we can find the tiny globular cluster M3, which I just got. Okay, right there, dead center, that slightly fuzzy star-like like thing is M3 globular star cluster. And, um, Boates, shooting star just came through the field. And while we're at it, let's dive down to the east into the light, Los Angeles light pollution. See if we can find M13 and M92. I didn't test this before. But I'll see if I can do it. Okay, that little double star there looks familiar, but I'm not sure if that's the right one. I think there's a cloud. Okay, yeah, there we go. Right there, M13. That fuzzy guy is M13. Big globular star cluster in Hercules. The Great Hercules Cluster. Teeny tiny again at 4x under severe light pollution. Okay, let's go down a little bit and we can pick up M92, which is right there. There's like a line of three stars. To the left is a star, in the middle is a star, and to the right of that triad is M92, the slightly fuzzy looking star. Another globular star cluster in Hercules. Okay, last up, we're gonna sweep around, back up a little bit, over to Virgo. Got some street lights giving us trouble. Can I find star Spica? That's the question. Okay, I'm azimuth right. I don't know if I'm on it or not. Ooh, more. look at that. There's some clouds again, I think. That should be Spica. Uh, this isn't going to work too well with those clouds in the way. They weren't there before. Um, somewhere in here would be M104, the Sombrero Galaxy, which is going to be... shoot. Oh, here we go. Okay. Double check with my focus here. Yeah, dead center. Okay, so the sombrero's dead center, really faint, little fuzzy thing. Um, there's a star nearby, about the 230 position from the center of the field, and then off to the right at like the four o'clock position, further away from it, there's like two almost like double stars, but they're not, I'm sure, they go too far apart. But dead center would be M104, the Sombrero Galaxy in Virgo, and uh, we're going to call it quits because we're up to four minutes already, almost five on our duration, so that's it. The Sony Alpha 7 III camera and Gen 3 Unfilled Night Vision by L3. That's it.